girl. Yeah. So I just um, uh, added you into our email um, list, but I, yeah, I didn't know if I wanted to keep coming to these meetings or if you wanted to join the committee or, um, yeah. Yeah, I think I, th I appreciate being added to the distribution list because I definitely want to stay up on what you're doing. Um, but right now, I feel like I, I shouldn't join the committee. Um, I just I I'm I mean I've I've been in my job for a year, but I feel like I'm still in transition because of the pandemic, and you know my learning curve was much um, was much flatter than it um, than it might have been if I had been in person and being trained. So. Um, I appreciate that, and I, I probably will keep coming because I'm really interested in the topic, and I'm also attending the police review committee meetings because it's, the work is all intertwined, and um, I, I want to be available for, you know, to help with any way I can if there's anything that the Justice Center can can assist with, so yeah, but so thank you, and, and staying on the email list is awesome. Cool. All right. Um... So yeah, we'll do this review and approve the minutes, public comments, solve education learning round table, um, report back from related city committees, um, then creative discourse work plan updates. So uh, look at the survey results and distribution uh, and then any fundraising or recruitment. Um, and yeah, I'll talk about that when I get there. And the committee chair meeting. So update on requests of materials from the city, uh, dates, agenda, other considerations, other business, um, and so then at the next meeting. And I'm just realizing, I think I had committed to coming up with a draft uh, agenda for that meeting. And I never, I did, didn't even realize that I didn't do it until right now. So apologies for dropping that ball. Um, but anything, yeah, anything else to add? How does that look to folks? Okay. Good. Um, so let's take a let's pull up Michael's minutes. Anyone want to make a motion to approve? I move we approve the minutes. Second. And Lauren seconds. Thanks. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? All right. Thank you so much, Michael. You're welcome. I'm on my own today. It's going to be harder without Carol and uh, Cameron's backup, which oh well, I'll, I'll muddle through. <laughs> <laughs> You've got it. You also got Orca here. Um. Okay, and then um, any public comment uh, or self-education and learning roundtable. Anyone's been reading, watching, listening, learning, uh, anything on racial, social, economic justice recently that they want to share? Other than the newspapers. <laughs> what was that? Nothing, nothing <clears throat> for me other than the newspapers. Yeah. <clears throat> A 
it's definitely been a few weeks to yeah all the all the time um i'll just share that may day um is on saturday and there's a rally at the state house um if anyone is interested i can find that link and put it in the chat rally for what for may day so okay um, one. It's like a big like labor organizing day, Michael. Yeah, I just wanted to be sure that. that... Yeah, that's the so. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, there are so many things that one could be rallying for. That is so true. Yeah. <laughs> In this case, it is tied to that. Okay. And nothing else. Uh, I mean, always share all the things. Um, report backs from other related city committees. So I uh, please review committee and city council. Anything else that would be helpful to have report backs from? Well, I'll report for the city, the, the police review. Um, first of all, Shana, um, no, Shana, not Shana. Uh, um, Cameron? Ke Ke no. Uh, Keisha? Keisha, thank you. Uh, Keisha uh, uh, attended the last meeting, which was Monday, and gave an update on what's going on with the survey and reviewed some of the questions that are the, the question that's most re most relevant to us. We're starting to pull together um, our report, a draft of our report. Um, first draft is first draft to do. We want to get a draft out to the public, um, and by the I think the end of May is what we we said. Um, so we're starting we're starting to do narratives. Um, and the final report is due by the end of June. So we're hoping to be able to make that deadline. Any questions on any of that? Yeah, like has I think we'll the presentation of that been scheduled. Excuse me? Has the presentation of that report to the public been scheduled already? It hasn't been written yet, so we're not scheduling anything until we have something in hand. Okay. Yeah, I think we need to like reality check when there's gonna be a full draft to get public comment on and then how that will be done. A lot of a lot of sections, a lot of complexity to it. So <laughs> mm -hmm. pulling it together. And is that something, yeah, like you are doing with the committee, with, uh, or Keisha is doing with the committee, and then we'll, so there'll be like an iterative process within the committee before going out to public comment? I'm sorry, this is a very dumb question. <laughs> I'm just like, I haven't wrapped my head around it. Ask, ask it again. I'm sorry, I didn't, I didn't follow it with what you're asking. Like, are, are you co writing it with the committee, or no. with the committee and with Keisha, or it's like Keisha's writing it, it'll go to that okay. to the committee? Keisha will, they'll do their summary and yeah. the part that's relevant for us, we will know about, we will get a, a copy of it or we'll get the text. Okay. Um, but they're not writing any part of our report. We're just, we're just waiting to hear what the results of the survey show and we'll incorporate it into our report. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Michael. Um, anything from the city, Lauren, or anywhere else? Anyone else? Um, I mean, the, the 
the things that are on the agenda, I again, like the, I think figuring out the, how we spend this one-time money, like I would love yeah. this committee to be thinking about how there's process around that in a way that is, you know, prioritizing social justice and how we think through that. So thinking of like the tool that this group had developed and all that. So, um, but that timeline is still not totally clear to me. Like, I mean, some of the money doesn't even come in for a year. So there's, there's time. Some of it comes in pretty soon. Um, so some decisions could start getting made, but, um, but that's, that's one piece. Um, there is the, um, I mean, policy-wise, I'm trying to think of what's what intersects most with this group. Um, you know, there there have been questions around the home energy ordinance, which I know we talked about two weeks ago. And I know, like, Michael had emailed me, and I owe you an email, Michael, <laughs> uh, which I'm happy to like talk through if people were curious about um, that or had like more specific questions, or if I, I can talk, happy to talk to anyone offline if um, I don't want to take too much of our shared time together but um I'll ask, wanted... I'll ask one question about yeah. that and that is yeah <clears throat> when that was being discussed mm -hmm. and and um and drafted did you use the did the council use the the the, the model of of uh, equity uh, decision making that that we had submitted was that brought into the discussion that, no, that's a good question. I've I've like been thinking through that, but more just like the okay, who's who benefits, who, you know, is this a potential burden on? And like so I've been kind of like thinking through it, but we didn't do an explicit exercise around that. Um I I yeah, I might talk to Anne about that. That's a good idea to like try to even get that on paper to do that because like to me it's like clearly a pro equity thing and like the concerns I'm hearing some of them just aren't, aren't accurate about what this ordinance actually does but but I think there's general there are people who will have you know a burden from doing this and there's other people who will benefit so it's like getting that all down and like making sure our own those of us who are like just in it our our biases are being <laughs> like of just being like bought into it are like actually make sense on paper to people so that's a great idea mm -hmm. i am gonna but the the main critique that has come from uh, peter kelman folk says a lot about that i mean he, he he makes that one of his kind of central points in some in in a way that's very difficult to kind of pull apart and understand exactly yeah. but i think it would be good to know um that the, the council actually thought about those issues as an, yeah. answer, as an answer to his one of his fundamental criticisms yeah and like there has been a lot of thought about it but we didn't use that specific rubric so but i think that rubric would be helpful to get it down um and yeah some of the like equity critiques he's bringing forward i think fundamentally misunderstand what this actually requires of people um but but i want to make sure that that's true and there's still there are obviously with like with anything there's genuine equity issues and considerations and mm -hmm. pros and cons like there are to everything so i think some of what he's saying is not not right but there's other things that are not part of what he's saying that i think are true and some of what he's saying is true and some i think is a little off base but um all right well i i i'm totally happy to do that and then that's something i would love to share with this group and just see if like just via email and see if people have thoughts or like things that seem missing or um concerns we do have one more meeting so it this this discussion got bumped to may 12th at city council because we haven't heard from the lawyer who is looking at some revised language to try to respond to some of the community concerns so um i believe we have one more meeting like, I think we've got a meeting that morning, so we'd have a chance to have a discussion before council is taking it up for any action. Um, so I'll put that on my list to to work on and then um, share with you all. Does that sound mm -hmm. okay? Thanks. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks for that idea, Michael. Put me 12th on the calendar.
Um, yeah, good questions. Anything else there? Move into work plan updates. So we are, um, we're, we're chugging along here, folks. So we've got the survey out. Huge thank you to um, Michael for going, you know, doing the paper delivery, to Jeremy for posting on Front Porch Forum, for Pelham for posting on Front Porch Forum this week. Um, and I'm sure I like shout out if you've had enough, if you've had success posting it somewhere else that you want to share. I'm trying to get it uh, into the library. Um, I, oh, I, yeah. I haven't been able to connect with the librarians, but I'm going to go try again today. Um, I dropped off paper copies. You did? Oh. Yeah. yeah oh. I mean, I just dropped them. Off. I was like, here, can you take these? <laughs> so I did it. I like like five or ten, but. All right. Well, maybe that's why they didn't call me back. Because, okay. Sorry. Um, I'll, I won't. I'll check that off my list then. Good. <laughs> Um, la yeah, last we checked, I know Cameron hadn't gotten um, paper results back, um, and then obviously she's out sick today, and so I, um, I'm not sure how successful those have been, but, um, and then has anyone gotten any requests for language translation services? You know, put that out in the newsletter and other places as well, and have not heard anything. So, okay. Um, so the goal that we had set um, in you know, collaboration with Creative Discourse was to get 300 survey responses by Friday. So by May, you know, by, by April 30th, right? We've gotten a huge spike this past week. We're now at about 225. Um, and we wanted to get 10% from BIPOC residents. And we're currently at 9%. Um, so pretty, pretty close. Um, but this is 75 new responses by Friday. How do people feel about that? Can we get it? <laughs> yeah, we need a plan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do that and not just let chance. Cross our fingers. <laughs> yeah. Put some wish to um, I mean, it feels like we could be posting daily again in, in Front Porch Forum. Um, and I don't know if there's any other groups we can circle back with from our kind of stakeholder list. Um, I have an email. I want. I thought the parents was such a good idea, like the parent committee. And I have not heard from the from the Union Elementary School, and I haven't heard back from anyone that I've emailed, and I've bumped several times. And so I don't know if other people have relationships or if I should just give them a call or. Um, you know, just be a little bit more assertive than sending emails. I can, do you have, um, maybe forward me what you sent Shana and I, yeah. um, I can try just emailing the same people if they're hearing from more than one, maybe I would cool. shake it loose or maybe I know some other people if I see who you had mm -hmm. sent it to. Yeah. Yeah, if you're going to send it to Lauren, just if you'd circulate it, I guess to all of us, and then we can yeah. do with what we're going to do again. I mean, I, it's in my email in, inbox somewhere, but I don't know where anymore. Um. Great. Thank you. Jeremy, were there other lists that you were thinking of, or should I pull up the list of where we were going to send? Um, well, I don't know if it ever got sent through surge. Mm. Um, that's the one. And I can, I can um, see if they'll send it, I'll email somebody there today. Um, and actually, actually, a thought that just occurred to me is we're asking everybody, right? So students can also be filling out the survey. Is that correct? I think we did have a, a good number of students fill it out. Um, Helen, if, uh, did you send it to the, the, student, the high school group or? Not, I mean, a good number. I remember early on when we looked at it with, with Keisha and Sue, there was like um, a, a slice. Of, it made it look like there was a bunch of you know, high schoolers who took it. But I'm not sure. Helen, could you forward to the high school group again? Is that? 
Yeah, I can ask my daughter again. And I, uh, when you were talking about parents, I remember that there's a parent organization. Uh, I don't remember its name, but I will check my uh, inbox and send you. Maybe we can share with them. Maybe they will be more proactive than the schools because they are organizing so many things. It's like a volunteer parent group, mm. you know, uh, does things about school and, you know, charity and everything. I think they are pretty active. So let me find their <laughs> email address and share uh, it with you today. Maybe we can <clears throat> send them. Maybe they will be more interested doing something with us. I'm assuming, Shanna, you or others have got Facebook covered on this? You know, no, because, um, yeah, the city was going to be posting on Facebook, on the, on the city Facebook page. And if Cameron's out, I'll circle back with, um, who would the right person be? Jasmine? Um, while, while Cameron's out? Michael, Lauren, do you guys know? Maybe Mary Smith? Mary. Yeah, she's the she's the assistant to the manager. Okay. Cool. Good, good call. Turn off that call. Uh, how about recreation department? I think. They might have good uh, data base, right? Because <clears throat> uh, um, they're offering so many things to kids, parents, elderly. There's also um, a, well, it's monthly um, newsletter from the Senior Activity Center, but there's yeah. isn't there a weekly one from um, <laughs> Mobile Year Alive? Um, We could we could you know try them again. Great. Okay, then just circling all the way back up to Front Porch Forum, the first idea here. Um, I know, yeah, Pellin just posted yesterday. Who? So if we want to post, you know, today, tomorrow, and Friday, um, who can post on what days? I can post again today, and I'll just kind of put a deadline soon kind of preamble yeah i think that's yeah we're like do friday yeah. <laughs> you know we want to hit our goal by friday yeah. those things oh like when i get those emails like we have a fundraising deadline at midnight tonight I'm like oh no okay let me go now <laughs> so real thanks I, I can do it tomorrow if you want to do it early great and I can do Friday. Done. Boom. Go team. Okay. Um, all right. So just to review this, we've got Front Porch Forum, Jeremy today, Lauren tomorrow, Pellin Friday. I'm going to um, send the, the student email stuff to Lauren. I'm going to recirculate it to this team. I also put down my neighborhood list and then to circle back with Mary from Montpelier uh, staff to post on the city Facebook um, and I'll recircle back with Montpelier Live. And we've got Pellin forwarding to the high school group and the parent organization at the high school. And then we've got, uh, did I say Jeremy post uh, sending to search? Did we ever um, ask like a uh... I'm spacing on their name, the Sustainable Montpelier Coalition, like the, the community neighborhood groups, like are, do those leaders have it? Do they have email lists they can send it out to? Did we do that? I can't remember. Yeah, Cameron was going to send to them. Okay. okay. Yeah. Thanks. And who, who would be the main, if I wanted to bump them, you know, I don't, who would be the person to 
Okay. I think you could ask like Elizabeth um, oh, yeah. that came to present here. Um, Great. What's the name of that group again? Sustainable Montpelier, I mean, okay. right. CAN is the acronym for their program. Right. What does CAN stand for though? Why can't I? Community Action Network or something? Maybe. It's like Capital Area Neighborhoods? Maybe? Yeah, that's right. It's got very stuck. I was like, I need to know what this I know, is. no, these acronyms, like you just, just can. <laughs> you just can, we got it. All right. And so they're going to start processing these results in early May. Um, I think our next meeting is on Monday um, to just look at the, the survey results and just kind of see where people are landing with all of this. Um, and then we, um, yeah, by over May, we'll be, they'll be writing the report uh, as well. So you know, hand in hand with this uh, Please review committee timeline. Um, any other questions on the creative discourse work plan stuff or thoughts or reactions? When they're when they've got the report um, completed, will they will they be kind of joining one of our meetings to present it to us, or how's that going to work? Yeah, they're going to be circulating it back to CJAC and to the focus group participants to get their feedback on it. They said it'll probably be a pretty tight deadline or to turn around. Actually, let me find my notes from this too. I'm sorry. Hold on a sec. Sorry, I didn't have this pulled up before. Well, and it's not where I thought it would be. Sorry, I, I don't seem to have it, but it would be a pretty tight turnaround. Um, I think they said, you know, about three days. So um, that they'd be sending it out to focus groups and then, and getting our feedback on it, but it did coincide with one of our meetings. So we could, you know, take a look at it in our meeting to be able to provide feedback right then and there. Um, but so, and then would want to get all this feedback, incorporate all this feedback, and then present it to city council as well. You know, or like more formally, once it's getting presented to city council, it's kind of like no longer a draft, but yeah. actually being presented at the next meeting. Okay. Cool. Mm -hmm. Sorry, yeah, I don't seem to have those. That's in my fingertips. Um, all right, committee chair meeting. Should we talk about that? Mm -hmm. So the dates that um, Cameron sent out were a non-council Wednesday at 5.30. So that looks at, you know, if we want to do it in May, May 5th or May 19th. One of the other things that we talked about was a potentially offering different times. So like, would we want to offer this? Um, you know, first of all, let's like look at our calendars. Does May 5th and 19th at 5.30 work for folks? Um, and, uh, you know, if so, um, uh, what, like, is there a prep? Yeah, what do, what do folks think of those dates? Well, I think May 5th is too soon to give warning and yeah. get people there. So I don't think it could be any time earlier than the 19th. Um, let's see. Which the 19th works for me. Can we get thumbs up for 19th, 5.30 to 7, say? Great. 
Yay, look at this, go team. Okay, I've got it on my calendar and um, let's do that. Um, so and then for our agenda for that, as we had talked about last time, just to circle back again, I was, I had said I was going to write a more thorough script and I completely did not. Um, but goals of informing other city committees of CJAC's goals, processes, work to date, share information and perspectives of ongoing equity issues from the city committees. Um, and then do some of that, you know, and uh, so then the, the the agenda would be, you know, doing some introductions of us, um, sharing information about CJAC, mm -hmm. and then going into breakout groups moderated by us about what does your community do? Like, how does your committee work? What's your process? How are you engaged with equity issues? How can you improve or expand access to your committee meetings and your work? Um, and so I, um, like, yeah, I don't know. Uh, reflecting on that, how does that sound for folks? And then maybe we can think a little bit more about roles and um, the plan for that. Good. I think that still feels right. Um, it's fairly straightforward, not too com complicated, not trying to pack too much in. Um, one thought I wonder if we could have folks RSVP just to get a good sense of the numbers before we head in to the, the meeting, which might help us with facilitation decisions. Yeah, it's on the 19th, we'll meet on the 12th. So maybe like that could be the deadline for RSVPs or not, you know, cause we want people to show up, but ask people to RSVP by yeah. the 12th. Yeah, and for the breakout rooms, the city can't do that, but I have a personal Zoom account. And so I thought I was gonna set that up and send that to the city to be appropriately warned and everything. Um, does everyone feel comfortable moderating a breakout group for this discussion? And like, what would that entail? Would that be taking notes, facilitating, starting conversation? Um, Yeah, I think um, we can we'll know more as we kind of design what the session is, but it seems like a large part of it is keeping folks kind of on on focus with the prompts that we're presenting, um, making sure everyone is getting a chance to contribute and no one's dominating. Um, I mean, it, it could get more complicated. So a lot of the facilitation I do has a visual component, especially in the remote environment, just to help folks track and see what's happening in the conversation. That may be more than we wanna do because it can be a little bit complicated. Um, but definitely like some kind of note-taking, I think just to track main points. And then we had talked about coming all back together and doing a brief share out. So I think that's another moment to capture. Do the breakout rooms get recorded as well, Shana? I think there's a way to do that. Yeah, where if I make you all co-hosts, mm -hmm. I'll have to double check on that. Yeah. yeah. That would be good because it's hard to to facilitate a conversation and keep the notes at the same yep. time. Yep. Well, that's yeah. Or do we want to like do it in pairs, you know, um, or something like that? But that would that could be challenging too. It's going to be kind of a numbers game. You don't want such big groups that yeah you can't really have conversation.
So for notes, Jeremy, or for the visual component, I'm just thinking of the um, like vi the virtual like whiteboard that you were using um, mm -hmm. many months ago. Now, is that yeah. kind of what you were envisioning? Or well, that's that's one that I use because I'm really comfortable with it. Um, <clears throat> in the past, though, I've also just used um, you know Google Slides because you can kind of make you know digital stickies just in those slides that, or you can just use bullet points. I mean, yeah. um, it's a pretty low, lo-fi solution that I think everybody can use pretty well. I appreciated the Google slide, you know, so then each breakout group can get a slide or something mm -hmm. like that. Um, mm -hmm. And right, and if we're coming in asking, you know, having people know what the questions are too, like they could even come in like prepared with, I mean, that's, that's over ambitious. I'm not going to pretend that people are going to come in for like prepared presentations about where they're at and what their questions are and what their needs are. So mm -hmm. never mind. <laughs> Okay, um, so let's think more about that and we can flag that for when we actually have RSVPs and know what we're going to be dealing with. For the large group of going over introductions, information about CJAC, what are the key points that we want to hit there? You know, we said we want to inform other city committees of CJAC's goals, processes, and work to date. Um, and again, sorry, this is where I thought I would have a, a draft, so that's. Would this just be more helpful if I just drafted this and we could work off of that next? I apologize, you guys. I think we can talk through it. Um, I mean, it seems like there's a bit of a narrative there around why the committee was formed in the first place. I don't, I don't know that actually, I don't think. Um, so what's the reason that this committee exists? And then, I mean, we have stuff about the charge um, that we could run through and what the committee was set up to do in theory. Uh, and then of course, there's, there's a few projects or initiatives that the committee has worked on that I think give a good example of what we're trying to do. And then share about the consulting, you know, with mm -hmm. work creative discourse and stuff. Yeah. Uh, as far as I remember, we have like three or four uh, categories in our um, strategic plan. Mm -hmm. we, maybe no we can share the headings. It will be a good summary, right? I don't remember very mm -hmm. <laughs> vividly now, but mm -hmm. uh, doing something with community, right? Yeah. There are very, you know, um, direct aims of the mm -hmm. uh, comedy, I think it will be good. Mm -hmm. Yep. Great. I'm, I'm just, I'm thinking a little, I'm like wondering if we can get this invitation out before Friday with the survey in it too. So we can be like, see, this is our work. <laughs> You should take the survey right now and send it out to your committee. Cool. All right, so yeah, so we need the invitation, we need the Zoom link, um, we've got the agenda. Any Anything else that we need to do to, you know, prepare now before you will just say May 19th, would love for, you know, committee chair, or if you can't make it a member of your committee to come, um, we can't offer really any, you know, no cookies because it'll be on Zoom, but if there's anything else.
Any other considerations that we would we want to think about here too? I'm just wondering, like, so in how this is going to be conveyed to people, like, is this something that, like, we as the committee can invite them? Like, is the city going to be like, we really want, you know, as many people, like, it would be great if it was coming from the city who has created these, like, really encouraging people. Mm -hmm. um, and I think just, like, real clarity and, I. I think we have it. I'm just like, like, how are we conveying exactly what our goal of this, like, so people know what, why they're coming and what to expect to get out of it. Um, just like making sure in the invitation, that's really could, clear to people. Could we, could we ask um, uh, the mayor to write a, a letter to uh, a note to each of the committee chairs and urging them to participate? Yeah. We can ask. <laughs> we'll do that. <laughs> yeah, that I think that's that's a really great point, Lauren. I wonder if also, and maybe as a part of the ask, do you think you could reach out to the to Anne and just let her know that this is something we're trying to do and why we're trying to do it, and maybe she'll have some thoughts about how to marshal. Anything else here? That was a really good point. All right, so I'm gonna be doing some tech stuff. Um, Jeremy and all of us are gonna be thinking about the visuals for the facilitation. You're in drafting the... Just to ask if that would be simple. I'm really a tech unsavvy. I, I'm, I'm, I'm still a pencil and paper guy. Um, so if I'm going to get distracted by having to deal with the technology, I won't be able to do all of that. I'm sorry to say yeah. that. No, I don't, and I don't think that's a problem. I think um, it can be a tool to use if you like if you're facilitating one of these conversations, I don't think it's something that we should rely on. Um, Cause I agree simplicity is much better in the kind of, especially the digital facilitation realm. So don't worry about that, Michael. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Good. So. <clears throat> Shana, would it be helpful if I spent some time to sketch out, um, you know, what this activity or conversation structure could look like? And then we could kind of get into some more of the details on the 12th. I think that would be awesome. I mean, that's, I was just thinking, I was trying to think through, like, how can I be most helpful? I don't, maybe Jeremy, like, Maybe can we put our heads together? Maybe I just want to learn from you. <laughs> you're like a you know professional facilitator um, about how like what you're thinking about or mm -hmm. and things like that. Yeah, we could we could chat maybe in like a week um, and just talk through some stuff. Cool, that'd be awesome. Like this time next week, we could just. <laughs> um, let me. Yeah, actually, I think that would work pretty well. Um, and I recognize this will make it like more complicated for you. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't but I just, I would good. love to. I don't, I don't trust myself to work alone. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, how about next Wednesday at nine? Sounds great. Cool. Okay. Um, 
I was going to mention this later, but this may be important to say now. I will not be able to attend the May 12th meeting. I'm going to be in, in uh, Arizona. Yay! Um, and it's it's that means it's 6.30 in the morning when this, this meeting, to, and, I, and because I'm going to be staying in my son's house, I think that would be disturbing to <laughs> Um, even though they have an infant and a, and a, and a one and a half year old who, you know, unpredictable mm -hmm. hours. But I just, uh, I'll try to, I'm taking my computer, I'll try to come, but you can't depend on me being there. No, so, I think you should take the time with your son. So fun. And my new granddaughter. I see. The, the first traveling of the past while, I assume, like, good luck with all of that. That sounds so... Yeah, well, you know, I've got my fingers crossed and a whole bunch of masks. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'm sorry to miss the meeting because it's going to be important, but um, I just can't guarantee being there. Mm -hmm. Well, that totally makes sense. Um, I'm, I'm glad you're able to go. Um, and I'm glad we're going to be able to check in one more time before uh, the meeting on the 19th. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Any other other business? So the, the check-in meeting is going to be next Monday? What? Um, uh, Jeremy and I are going to check in on uh, next Wednesday. All right. So there's no nothing that all of us are involved in. Oh, yeah. And then I believe our meeting on the 12th is going to be pretty packed. Um, we're going to be, review I think we're going to be reviewing the draft, although we might not have it by then. It might be the 26th. I mean, yeah, and of course, I don't have it on my computer anyway that I can tell. Um, so either the 12th or the 26th, we'll have the draft from Creative Discourse to review. Um, and then on the 12th, we'll also be you know, really digging in on uh, making the plan for the um, for the committee chair meeting. Uh, and if it's just that, it might end up being pretty pretty quick, and we'll just review it and do that recruitment and and head out. Um, and then if we have to do that and review the work plan, uh, I think we'll still have we'll still have time to do all of that. Anything else for agenda for the twelfth? I don't think so. Well, cool. alrighty. Well, thank you all. Thanks, everyone. Yeah. I'm gonna set up these Zoom things and send out these emails yeah. right now. So. Great. See you later. Safe travels, Michael. Email. Nice to see you all. Bye. Nice to see you, you all. Bye. Good luck with your travels, Michael. Thank you.